Hello everyone, I'm Adas, and I'm here, Jump to Heroes for iOS Android. So today we have here the news for the new event that's coming, that's the New Year uh, event where they release some uh, new characters, you know, things like that. This loof is already a repetitive one, so it's not included in there. Uh, so, yeah, of course, this, I think everything will start at this on January 1st at midnight Japan time. I don't know if the events will start at that time or not, or if they start a little bit later. It's a matter of seeing. So, <clears throat> we have this uh, ticket. I think this is that ticket uh, that uh, for the pool that people could vote. Uh, I think, I can't say for sure if it is or not, but I think th there was a pool that uh, people could do, and then you receive a ticket if you participated. And uh, the characters that will get more votes will be in this pool, and people could uh, then in December that is going to be it's it's not going to be in December, it's going to be January first, uh, Japan time, of course, uh, that they call the uh, pool. I think it, I think it's like that. I think if, if you participate in that, you receive uh, this ticket, and then it has all of this. I don't have 100% sure if it's, if it's this ticket or not, but if it is, there's a lot of limiters for what it looks like. So, I hope it's the ticket. I hope I'm not mistaken. Of course, it's random. It's not, I don't think it's a choice ticket. I think it's random. You, you click and you get a, a random limited, so you get whatever you, you get. I don't know what are the characters that are in here. We can see two only, that this Zoro and this guy from Demon Slayer. The rest, I, I don't know what is in there. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, one, one, uh, this you can do, this event you can only do one time per day. And what else do you receive? Do you receive a ticket? Hmm. I wonder what else you receive. Probably receive tickets to do, to do something for this. There is, there is a limit in there. Probably this is like a, for a banner that you can do, and the uh, end over is in there. I wonder if it is or not. If it is, I, if there is other limited in there, it's like if you have luck, you can always pull, right? So that's always nice. Uh, this uh, login because uh, of uh, this new ca dual unit that's coming, but it's tickets to someone for this that you you can trade then for for those the crystals that you can trade for uh, jewels, you know, they, these, t these tickets that uh, they already exist, so that you do summon, you save uh, uh, something that, uh, some points that then you can trade for the crystals that then you can trade for jewels. It's like, it's three days only. You receive this 20, 20, 20, and you can summon. Nothing, nothing special in these tickets, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then a special login, right? This is a special login that on the first day you receive this ticket, but I don't know what it contains, this ticket. Uh, some 60 rubies only, not that much. Um, then, But then there's those tickets that is 22 and 2023, yes. I wonder what you can do. It's not 20, 2022, it's 2023. But I wonder what it contains in these tickets on the third and seventh day, I wonder. The rest is like, eh. I wonder what character are in there. Uh, a login tool, you receive this uh, character from uh, a new series that's going to be in the game, that is Hoboku and me. Because they they say that they will uh, add this new series into the game. Uh, some people thought it would be like a limit or something, and it looks like it's going to be like this, this character. So it's cool, you know, a new series that's got, that's added to the game. They say that they have another one that's uh, to come, but they didn't say which one it is. So we need to wait to see uh, what it's going to be. So yeah. Uh, another one, one time per day, and in this one you can receive like coins. It shows that you receive this ticket and this ticket, and I think it's coins only if that's coins, because it says uh, these 
five star ticket and I think I don't know what else is this one coins I wonder I wonder what else is that okay so now it's showing over here in the, with that 2023 ticket uh, the characters that you can get some of them right it doesn't show everything no it doesn't show everything so you can get uh, this uh, almighty and uh, uh, deck dual unit uh, the other two over there are hero characters so i wonder if it's only one limit or if there's more limiters in there but okay you have to have luck again but it is what it is this ticket that is this one it's to summon on this uh, special uh, New Year or something like that characters. It's what it looks like, Kaiba, this Naruto, and this guy. I don't know if this guy was a, like a character, like an event character, or if it was on a banner. I don't remember. But it looks like it's only for that. Now, this event, it's cool. This event you can only do one time. You do one time, you receive this book or whatever that is, and uh, this it's gonna it's it shows over here it's gonna it's guaranteed to get a limited. I don't know how many limiters there is. I can't say for sure, but as you can see, some of some of them over here there's Jiraiya, there's Shanks, there's uh, Almighty, the first Almighty from the first anniversary, the teacher of uh, the guy of Samurai X or whatever is the name in Japanese. Uh, so I don't know what other limiters there is, but it's guaranteed a limited, and you get this thing by doing this event. You can only do one time, and that's it. So yeah, you can get a limited, but I wonder how many limiters are in there. That's the problem. Uh, a Hoboku Army event where uh, you can get Hubish, okay. You can get uh, these uh, crystals to trade for uh, jewels. That's good. I don't know if this is a ticket or what. I don't know for sure. Uh, money. Probably that's an emblem. And hero jewels. Um, okay, so with the ticket, you can uh, get uh, Hoboku. I think uh, the name is Hoboku. I don't know what's the name of this character and I didn't saw I didn't saw that name. I only know it's a short anime, five minutes uh, episodes, but I didn't saw. Uh but it looks like with this ticket you summon is what it looks like. You summon to get it and then what else is these things? Do you need these things to level up? I wonder. Hmm. Okay. And then it shows over here that to put to six stars you're gonna need this special item. It's what it looks like, right? So basically, to get this, the character, you're gonna get it from that login, don't forget, but if you want to get more copies, it's with the ticket, and and the ticket, you can get more of, of this character, and you can get this stuff, that probably is the item that you need to, you know, to level up to uh, level uh, 60, and then to level 99. And you need this special item to go to six star. It's what it looks like. And uh, I think it's boost characters that you need. Yeah, it shows over here boost characters. So Hoboku will give you immediately 300%. So in, you get it on on the login, and you need to put on your team because it's going to boost a lot. And then, like all characters, will boost a little bit, 60, 65%, like Cell, Yamcha, Nappa. Like, you know, very, very small. You need this Hobok. Hobok will always boost you uh, the highest. Okay. Uh, so over here, is, is this... So wait. Wait a second. Let me always see. Is it, is it still the same? No. So, okay. So in this event, you can trade for ticket. For ticket or something? I don't know if this is a ticket to summon something. Get jewels. Uh, hobbies and stuff like that. But then there's another event where you can get. Oh no, this is the banner. Okay, probably probably something like that. It's very confusing. This could be an event or something. But I think this is like supposed to be the banner for this shit. Okay. Uh, tell us this. A Baruto event. 
against this guy. I forgot the name of this guy. Okay, so you can do this event. You receive uh, limited bra uh, limited gates. Uh, these crystals, and I think that's an emblem. The Razegan, I think that's an emblem. Of course, it's not going to be easy again. Let's be honest. There will be a new uh, lim a new summon, a new summon. Yeah, that how oh, legend summon, a uh, new legend summon that is uh, that looks like Kid Naruto, right? Yeah. So you know, pretty easy. It's always easy to uh, to max out to level ten. I don't know what's gonna what's gonna do, but hopefully something good. And then we have here a new event that is for the, a new character of Full Swing. I think it's like that uh, manga is called. Uh, Hobobo, I think it's like that the name, where you can get this guy. He, he's still gonna get an, an event in January, but this is the new year, like Hobobo or Bobobo or whatever it's called. Uh, Tell us this. Death Note, but this to trade for old characters? Hmm. So you need to get these L's, and with these L's you can trade for Gates, uh, Crystals, and then you can trade for Light, Ryuk. Uh, I forgot the name of this character, I'm going to be honest. Okay. And then there is an emblem. Okay, Kira. Okay. I wonder how you get it. Probably it's an event, right? Probably it's this event. Okay. Uh, they have no event. Nothing that special. Uh, I think this is a Unity Battle. I don't know what else this is supposed to be. No, this is not Unity Battle. Is this a... Uh, it's a Naruto event against uh, Kagura or whatever was the name, but it's not Unity Battle. You're gonna you can get hobbies, you can get uh, these crystals again, lim limited type uh, gates and museum type gates. But this isn't, I don't think this um, it can't be it can't right. This is not Unity. I don't think this is Unity. Okay. But still, uh, it's gonna be hard. The maximum you, uh, rubbish that you can get is 100. So, and then there is this uh, thing, this temp. Um, this uh, summon over here uh, with these tickets that uh, I don't know how you receive it. Like I receive it one time only. I don't know if there is more how to receive them. I'm gonna be honest. But in here you can receive. Uh, Books, hero jewels, crystals to trade for uh, normal the best jewels, uh, limited type gauge, and you can get. I think this is the only limited that you can get. Kaido is uh, very old too, but I don't know if there is more or not. But uh, yeah, it can be good. Like uh, not even not even counting uh, Kaido in here. Like to get the jewel, these crystals, uh, gates, hero jewels. That's always nice. If there is more than one limited in there, I wonder what are the limiters. But for me, like, I already have Kai, so I don't care much about it. So I will be more for crystals and the limited type uh, gates. Those are the two that I will get. If there is more ways to get these tickets to summon, I don't know how. Uh, tower, characters that will boost the tower, or typical, you know. I think this uh, they are showing the cards that will boost because they they say that they will try to uh, to change the boost characters uh, for the um, for the tower they talked about on that inquiry uh, because they see that every time that they launch characters they uh, when in the tower they always try to boost characters and uh, those characters will boost you right you will get more health more damage etc. Uh, but they don't want to continue doing that, so they are going to try to balance stuff. So probably this is what they are showing. Probably, I don't know. But of course, at the same time, you can already see some of the characters that uh, are coming. So yeah. Wait, they didn't show Bobby to event. What the fuck? 
So the summons, uh, will, I will talk about later the summons. So there's two dual units that are coming. As you can see, they are different the banners, and I will explain why. But both of them come at the same time. Uh, that's going to be for 3 o'clock afternoon on 31st that will come. Uh, and they are different. They are very different. But they don't talk about a bit. Or did I miss? Oh, no. Yeah, what? They don't talk about a bit. What the fuck happened? Because they talk about this event. The full swing. They talk about Hobo Ball. Or whatever, blah, 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 whatever it is. They talk about this Death Note that I didn't even knew about it. They talk about Kagura. I don't know if it's Unity Bait or not. I don't think so. But they don't talk about Obit. But they show Obit. And it's not a tradable character. What the fuck? Did they forget about Obit? How the fuck do you obtain Obit then? Yeah, they forgot to show where you get Obit. Because Obit is supposed to be a character that you obtain. Because it's in here. This is an event. Obit is an event, but they don't show. They don't show it. Which is very weird. They show uh, Bobo Bo and the full swing character. They don't show Obit. Very weird. Did they forgot to put on the news? Oof. Okay, so let me see if they talk about the banners. No, they talk about here this event. So, do they explain here? Okay, boost characters. You receive this emblem showing that this uh, six star. Yeah, it looks like it's a banner with this ticket. Okay. So basically this event you get the character, the character is boost. You can trade by doing by getting points on the event you can trade for ticket to get uh, the things to to level up the character and get more copies of it. You can trade for hobbies, that's the first thing that you should do. Trade for hobbies. I don't know how many. Do they say? They should say Probably it's going to be like 100. Probably it's going to be 100. So you can trade for all of these. Characters boost, of course. There's an emblem. And then uh, to put to 6 star, you need this thing that I do not know is where you get it. Probably it's by, by, by putting the characters at a certain point. I don't know. And then here showing that the ticket you can summon to get this stuff and this these things is how you level up the character. Okay. So but they don't talk about the the banners, right? They don't show the character, nothing like that. Right, there is nowhere. No, it doesn't look like they talk about the the banners, but why they I'm talking about the banners. Well, the banners, you're going to spe have to spend a lot. Like, normally, you, you the normal banners usually is like 9 multi, you, it's guaranteed. Or it's 9 or 10 multi, I don't remember very well now. It, like, you receive the limited, you, of course, you could receive before, that uh, the guaranteed step, but if you, wa if you wanted to get the uh, guaranteed, it will be the 9 or 10. But this time, it's not like that. I understand, like, uh, there, there is all the times that there was banners that were, like, two limited in the same banner, and if you wanted to try to get both, you needed to go to the 15th step. Okay? But that was another case. It was two limited in one banner. In this case, it's not that. So, first of all, Boruto and Naruto, they are uh, dual unit, uh, they are yellow, uh, they don't show, I don't know what they do yet, they don't even show over here yet, uh, but the banner is made differently. First of all, it's not guaranteed uh, that you get him on the 10th step. It's not. You need to go to the 15th step, and it's not even guaranteed that you get, you get is a ticket, 
where you can choose between him and other limiters. Yes, in this banner there is other limiters. On the 10th step, it's guaranteed a limiter. Can be them or another one. Now, for now, what people know, for what I saw, it's that there is two limiters involved in here, not counting with the Boruto Naruto. One is Six Path Naruto, that's a great character to have as a support for PvP. Uh, and you have that guy from uh, World Trigger that takes out the defense. Both of them are great to to have in your team. I'm not I'm I'm not gonna lie. They are both great. I I have both of them. Uh, Naruto Six Path is great on PvP. It heals a lot. The other guy from World Trigger, it's great to have in front line because it it takes out the defense. So it's great, but at the same time, it's like it's not even on the 10th step. It's not even guaranteed to get him. It's between. For now, what I know is between these three limiters that you can get on the 10th, which means if I don't get Boruto and Naruto on the 10th step, I need to go to 15 to try to get him, to get to, to get the ticket and to choose. Now, if there is more limiters than these three, okay, that's there is more, even more value to get to the 15 because not only there is three feature limiters, and then there's other ones involved, which means throughout the pulls that you do, you can get limiters without even you expecting, right? So, but for now, I don't think it's possible to know because they don't even show how it is the banner, and you don't even know if it is like the two limiters in one banner that after the 10th step, it's always guaranteed to get a five star. I don't even know about that. If it is, it's good. But if it isn't, it's like, Jesus. But then, then, they went for Light. Like, Ryuk and Light, they were a Taiwan exclusive. Like, if you, if you play Taiwan uh, version, this character is already out in there. But this, this banner includes the two new hero characters, that are these two girls. And includes Light, Light and Ryuk, they are a dual on it. Now, the problem of this banner is that to get guaranteed Light and Ryuk, you need to go to 20, 20 multis, which is something that you never saw on a limited uh, banner. Now, people are saying that both of these characters are... Uh, Light and Ryuk is almost pr probably, for they doing that, is probably because it's almost in museum tier. And that's why they are doing, the, doing that. Okay, I understand. Okay, let's put 20 multis because Light and Ryuk are going to be uh, amazing. Okay, I understand. But at the same time, it's too much ask for a limited. Boruto and Naruto. Probably they're gonna be good too, and that's why they put the like like that, the steps. We still, I still need to go and see what they do. But light and Ryuk is like, I already saw how it is. Steps is like on six and ten steps, it's guaranteed one of the features, which means these two heroes are light and Ryuk on six and ten. It's guaranteed one of them. Uh, on 15, it's guaranteed. I, I don't even remember on the 15. I, I know on 15 it's guaranteed something. I don't even know what. There is no other limit, by the way. I don't know what is guaranteed on 15. And then on 20, it's guaranteed Ryuk and, and Light. So it's like, I don't know what they were like doing for this. Uh, Something that we never saw on uh, on Jump T, but it's I don't know. Like some people, uh, like they were saying, how much rubbish do you need to have to summon on both of them and get both of them? If you are lucky, you don't spend that much. Of course, let's be honest. You need to have luck. But if you need to go to the guaranteed steps, which means fifteen, twenty. It's 33 and something rubies that you need, that you need, which is insane. 
like for Chuli meters, it's like Jesus. That's insane. I really hope they uh, they don't do this in the future of banners that are coming. I really hope they don't do that. Like I really hope they go back to the nine or ten step when it's two limited in one banner. Okay, go to the fifteen, you know, but it's guaranteed to get on the nine step. It's guaranteed to get one of the limited, you know, like the previous banners. Don't do like this. I understand they can be like OP, you know, something like that, but it's like it's too much. Especially on the Light and Hyuk. It's too much rubies that you need to spend. It's like, Jesus. Another thing about this banner of uh, Boruto and Naruto. That's w the one that I'm going to do. Uh, every hero character that you receive is from the year 2021 and the year 2022. You can never get a, a hero character from before those years. So... That's a good thing at the same time because, like, you don't need to be worried to receive old hero characters. That's always a good thing because sometimes you get, like, hero characters that came out in the beginning of the game and you are like, eh. So, that's a good thing in this banner of Naruto and Boruto. You have limited, at least for now, two that is known. And you, it's guaranteed always, like, it's guaranteed. The hero characters that you can get, it's always 2021 forward. While on the Light and Ryuk, it's nothing like that. There's two new heroes. It's guaranteed one of these feature characters on 6 and 10. The problem is that if you want to get Light and Ryuk guaranteed, you need to go way further. But, yeah, and I think no, nobody likes it. The, the format of these two banners and I really hope they don't continue doing the banners like this like I'm gonna be honest when I saw I was like what the fuck like they had to be smoking something like that's inexcusable like I, I know they give a lot of rubies you know but at the same time it's like for free to play players yeah, some, of the, some of these banners will cost a lot only if you have luck and pull like on second step so, I really hope this one time only, you know, because it's new year, we want to try to make some mo money from it, so, and then we go back to the normal limited banners. But who knows, who knows. But, uh, yeah, like, I think people expected different characters for the new year. I didn't, I, I didn't expect to be Light and Ryuk and Naruto and Boruto, because they say that dual unit, I didn't expect to be... Naruto and Boruto at the same time because it doesn't even belong to the manga it belongs to anime only so it was very weird uh, at the same time it's cool to see but as some weird decisions here and there but uh, at least there's like some cool characters like Hoboku is here uh, some other events you know things like that uh, but yeah Another thing that they announced is that many events got delayed, like uh, Hoboku event, uh, Ho no, it's not Hoboku, it's Bobobo, I think it's like that. It was supposed to be like mid-January, it got delayed to late January, uh, Jojo, 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 how it is? Jojo, Jojo. Uh, Jojo Bizarre Adventures, uh, Stone Ocean got delayed to fe early February. Aiku got delayed to mid-April, because that was supposed to be like February too, I think, but got delayed to mid-April. Uh, and then this event... Uh, let me only... I think it's Super super Dimension Howard, or Super Dimension Battle... Uh, uh, it got delayed. It, it, it's not delayed. They don't consider it delayed, right? But it got pushed back. This event over here that says closest, uh, it was supposed to be like, you know, mid December, early January. It got pushed back uh, to uh, mid January, late January. Like I understand, probably they, uh, they want to like to try to balance some stuff here and there, you know. So I can understand pushing the event backwards backwards back uh, but at the same time it's like this this event is cool to do you know if when they put like those hunks you can always get some 
some hope with some jewels. It has good uh, rewards, so it it was weird. They don't even present any reason why they delayed the event, why they delayed the Super Dimension Road or Super Dimension Battle, whatever is the name. Uh, so, yeah, some of the stuff is like delaying events. Like I was, I was uh, like, uh, I wanted to to do the Jojo, the Stone Ocean, because it's it's gonna be Jolene, uh, the the limited, and they delaying. They didn't even say what what are the reasons that they delay. It's like uh, we have to delay some uh, some events. Uh, this this event is supposed to be early January. It got delayed. Jo uh, Stone Ocean, uh, early February. I could mid April. Okay, but what happened? What happened? Because now uh, people are saying that uh, this event of New Year is only ten days, and the event after this one is going to be a reprint of Yugi. Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not Yugi, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, so it's like... It's a little bit weird because that's not what's supposed to be on the hold map, so they fuck up a little bit the roadmap. Uh, because next one will be uh, Bobo Bo, or whatever it is the name. Um, it's going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's going to be reprint. Like the event's going to be a reprint of events. It's going to... The limited, probably they put limited, it's going to be that... Uh, Yugi, like with that dragon, I don't know his his name. Probably it's gonna be that banner again. So a little bit weird of things that happen, uh, and it will be nice to know the reasons that they had to delay. But it is what it is. Uh, they they didn't explain, but you have to take it as a player. So, but yeah, like there's some cool stuff in this new year event. Nothing like, oh my god, like it was on the previous year. Uh, but there's some cool characters. Like, like the, uh, Ryuk, many people wanted to come to Japanese. They have the chance. Of course, the ban is a little bit fucked up for the people that want to pull. Naruto and Boruto is the one that I'm going to pull because uh, I like Naruto. Boruto, I like some parts, so I'm going to pull for that. Hopefully, I pull it uh, faster. And then, you know, you have your normal events to get some hobbies here and there. So, hope you guys enjoy here the news of the event that's coming, that is the New Year's. And see you guys next time.